give me your reactions on uh, how excited are you or not excited or what? This is wonderful news. This is absolutely phenomenal. It's what should have happened. It's what did happen. And there will be a lot of uh, people sleeping much sounder tonight knowing that at least for now, that land is preserved as green space. And we are overwhelmed with the support that we've had. Um, this, this evening was amazing. And we are so lucky to have all of these people working with us. We had almost 50 people at the rally beforehand. This place was packed, as, as you probably caught on camera. There was standing room only. People were sitting along the walls. Um, yeah, there were people carrying signs. We had a lot of support from passers-by in the traffic. This city does not want that kind of development in Loveland. End of story. They just don't. Of the arguments that were made, what do you think were most effective in terms of what you heard when they justified their vote? That's a really good question. That is a very good question. I, I think there was some consideration for the fact that it's currently zoned RLD. Um, we heard that, I think, from several members of the commission. Um, I don't feel like they want to jump from that zoning designation to something that's three times that. Um, yeah, we'll have to look back at the tape and figure out where they're all coming from in case it gets appealed, which I hope it doesn't. Um, yeah, I, I, I would have liked to hear more about preserving natural spaces. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of that in the discussion afterwards when they were discussing it. Um, from the commission. From the commission. Right. And there were a lot of speakers who spoke to that because Loveland has none of that. We have parks, but we don't have a lot of natural spaces. And that is what, in future times, that is what's going to set Loveland apart. We've done a lot of research and there is scientific data that says that parkland actually is a money maker for communities because there's so little of it left in this area, people seek it out. They will come to Loveland to walk in nature, not go into a soccer field, not go into a baseball field, but coming to see nature as it should be seen. And I think we'll see that if we can if we can preserve it. No. I agree. I'm, I'm fully behind Lauren on this, and I, I do wish there was more talk about that, because that needs to be something that is fresh in the minds of these kind of decision makers in Loveland. Loveland has gone through a very quick, rapid um, change, and a lot of new development that we're going to have to live with now. So, yeah, I wish more people on council and this group had that kind of mentality. That would be very helpful for us in developing in the future. So. Yeah, Andy did mention it was too quick, like it'd make your head spin as much as it was annexed and boom, we're right into the middle of it. And I thought, yeah, just take a breath. Somebody said yeah. that, just take a breath. Yeah. And so that's what we did tonight. We took a breath and we couldn't be more pleased. And thank you, David, for all of the um, articles that were published. That was very heartening for us too. David and I worked together to come up with some numbers, but it was part of his presentation and that was numbers that we can look at to determine if this is financially a positive um, income flow for the city. And honestly, there should be somebody that works in the city of Loveland that does that as part of their job. Any development that comes to Loveland should be analyzed that way. And it's pretty shocking that a city this size does not have a person that would present the financial piece to planning and zoning and to city council. That is something that needs to be fixed. Because that's a huge piece of it. Everybody assumes that if you add more houses, it's going to bring in more money. But when we looked at that, it actually is a negative. Yeah, the data didn't bear it out. Well, personally, I think that this SPD zoning is a way for developers to get what they want. And also, they're using it as a loophole to get what they want. Basically, it's anything goes zoning. So SPD, we should come up with a new word for SP and D to, to kind of explain that. Because they're using that as a way to get whatever they want. And Loveland should not be a partner in that. 
We have zoning for a reason, but that particular type of zoning is being used many, many, many times recently. And it should be a very specialized use, and that's not how it's being used. It needs to change. And hopefully this will be a landmark decision, and more decisions like this will follow. I thought, uh, I can't remember who did it, but the guy that got up is short and sweet. Look, you can clearly see this is not what the Loveland residents want. That should really have been all it took. Right. But um, yes. But here we are now, and they listened, and um, we got the vote we wanted. We got the vote so we wanted. So we're pleased.